This video will show how to load a SolidWorks assembly to Duro and then from Duro to NetSuite. So to begin, let's pull a part number for this assembly and all of its children. I'm going to do that by selecting the pull part number function. Once that's selected, I have to choose a category for each item in the bill of material. Here I'm going to multi-select a few and, and add a category in bulk. I can do that to two or more. Once I've set each of these categories, it's assigning the corresponding prefix at the beginning of the Duro part number. And when I hit continue, it's now going to grab the next available part number in the counter for each of these categories. That means it's assigning a unique part number for each item. Now that I'm done, I have generated the assembly and all of its children in Duro. So I'm going to click that hyperlink, and here we are. So our next step is to change the status of all these items, because Duro requires all items to be in prototype or production status. to need an ECO. So now that I've updated my status, I can go ahead and release these items from SolidWorks and it will automatically create a change order in Duro. So there's my status updated. And I will release my item now. and I get a notification saying that a change order is waiting for me in Duro. I'll click on the hyperlink here, and this will open my Duro window, and here is the change order waiting for me. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this so that I can push this to NetSuite. One thing to notice is any item included in the bill of material of the change order is what will push to NetSuite. So because I started this from SolidWorks with the assembly and all of its children, this is what will show up. I could remove any of these items that I would like and then they would not show in NetSuite. I'm going to leave them all for now. I'm going to submit for approval. As I'm one of the approvers on this, I'm going to say approved. I'm going to say approved. And now I have a released item. I'm just going to copy this part number of the assembly. And I'm going to go to NetSuite. I'll search for the part number in NetSuite. And here is the assembly along with all of its children found in the bill of material. And that's pushing from SolidWorks to Duro to NetSuite. Thank you.